Welcome back Stoner Squad and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial Rome going for Humanizer's Footsteps. So today we're going to continue where we left off and where we did leave off was me being bewildered by how the hell did we make much less money than we were before. Well the answer was right under my eyes and I completely missed it. When we um, took over this land here we inherited four forts which put the province way above the infrastructure limit which it is now and it was way over it which means the fort maintenance increased considerably. So now I've deleted them and as you can see we're back to about 5.75 which means I could probably get my fort back over here which I probably shouldn't have deleted so I'm going to build one back again because it does kind of block this off nicely. Um, so I'm going to build that there. Um, so that is why. So I don't know why I didn't see that, but um, there you have it. But um, I've kept these two here just because it will block the enemy in while we fight, because now if I want to declare one on you here, for example, uh, there we go, you're going to bring in this guy and... No, I don't have a caster's belly against you. That wrong one. So if I declared war on... Where are you? Where are you? Is it this dude here? Yeah, if it's you, you're going to bring in this guy and this guy. So this guy here and this guy there. But what happens is these forts are going to stop his movements. So basically, if he wanted to come through here, he couldn't go past this fort because the fort has a zone of control of like one square around, so he can't go that way. And he couldn't come this way because this fort has a zone of control here, so in order to move forward, he would have to take this. So it kind of blocks him in and allows me then to focus my efforts on like this guy over here and this guy without worrying about this guy flanking me, which is the reason why I did that. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is now is a good opportunity to show you guys how efficient our like kind of um, technology policy has been in getting rid of tribals and promoting them into citizens and um, nobles. So now you can see we're at 76% research efficiency. We started the game with 2 or 3%, which was incredibly low. Um, and we have just increased it so much. And if you guys remember that when we started the game, 24% of our pops were tribals, I, if I remember correctly. But now if I go to the nation overview, you'll see we have... 5% of tribals left now. I think we had like 124, even more than that as tribesmen. There's only 36 left. Uh, we've got a lot of slaves, which are fueling the economy, which is good. But we have a decent amount of citizens and actually a decent amount of nobles. Uh, with some freemen as well. So we've got a nice balance. And this really goes to show how efficient the policies are. If you actually take your time with things and kind of think things through. Honestly, if you have tribals, the best way to get rid of them is to centralize your pops, bring them all into the city, just kind of flood them in there, and then once they're in there, bang on, boom, pop promotion, social mobility, promote them up, and of course, while you're promoting them, build your um, academies and your court of laws to increase your citizen and noble ratios and whatnot, and then you just promote the hell out of them, and that really helps you get your tech up. So that is cool. But anyway, today what we're going to do, we're going to definitely get this war going, um, and that is definitely the next step. Um, let's see. So, Lucas, you're still planning anything against me? No, which I like. So let's roll. Bim Bamboo. So everything's good. Everything's rosy. I do like this. Um, I should probably put my... Oh, you're disloyal? Why? Oh, you became a pretender. Are you kidding me, dude? Wow. Okay, so I've lost control of my legion. Our base of supporters. Yeah. Deployed Tribune. Landed cohorts, loyal cohorts. We know. I know that. God damn it. I think it's the major power increase that reduced it just enough for him to be disloyal. And I don't know why you're a pretender. Where did you get that pretender thing from, dude? Now, I could make friends with you. Um, how much gold do I have? I have a quite big amount, and I think I might try to befriend you. The only reasonable way I can do something, so I'm going to give it a go. We'll try and befriend the guy. Prosperity. What do I want here? National tax or stability? Stability. Thank you. So finally, we've hit the 50... over the 50 threshold, which is cool, because now we don't have any negative effects, and now we have more pop happiness instead of negative pop happiness. Right. And we have more research points, more legitimacy, and all that sort of stuff. So this should have actually increased it a little bit more to about... probably get to about 80%, I reckon. 79. Yeah, that's... 82. Wow, that's even better than I thought. Um, anyway, exotic gifts. So wild beasts from the far corners of the earth make for eye-catching and exotic gifts. Various merchants throughout the region offer a wide range of creatures, both for the arena and private owners. Tiger time, buddy. Hit with tiger. It comes from our personal fortune since we're trying to befriend somebody in the realm. So we pay for it out of our personal fortune. So the guy has, I think we had like 700. It's gone down to 671. So we pay for it out of our cash. And hopefully this will keep him on our side. Uh, making an impression. Our position offers many ways to publicly flatter Kephistodotos Mesenimid. Careful praise the deeds in the Hall of Government and among the other notaries of our country will be sure to find its way back to his ears. Well, I'm going to take the... I'll take the gold here. 
There is the sculpture. I don't want to lose my PI. I'll take the gold here. Always a moderate amount of success. Anyway, religious procession, so a struggle between the religious echelons of our society and the peasants, has recently come to light, as the populace at large feel like the religious ceremonies are inaccessible and distant. We shall be left alone. I lose five stability, but I gain more omen power. Religious tech investment goes down, and state renewing happiness goes down, but he gains loyalty. You know what? I'm going to leave the priest alone. Extra omen power is nice, and the religious tech investment of plus 5% is also quite nice. I'm going to take that. So let's have a quick look over here. Uh, technology, so this should like increase it to 100%. There we go, it has done, so that's good. I lost a bit of stability, but we had enough anyway, so that's fine. It's going to increase the speed a little bit, so why not? Why not indeed? Everyone likes gold. You want some more gold, do you? Well, make a large donation then. Oh, march of time. We've got Dufteria, so we're dying. Okay, so I don't think he's going to be around very long. Oh well, that's a shame. Very big shame indeed. So as soon as you are friend with me, you should gain 15 opinion, and then I should be able to get rid of you from command. I hope that is what's going to happen. At least anyway. Because uh, then I can go to war, but I don't want to go to war just yet. Probably can get it. Yes, he becomes friends with me. Fantastic. So now you're no longer disloyal. So, uh, friend of a ruler plus 15. There we go. So at the end of the month, it will be applied. Bim, bam, boom. So there we go. See, have it under control. I like it when it when a plan works like that. But I'm going to change the commander of the legion. Um, are you the commander? I want to change the commander. So you're no good. No, yeah, I'll keep you. You're my friend. Why not? I'll keep you for the moment. For the time being, you, you like us, so why not? Uh, now we can actually move our men round. And I'm going to bring you guys here where you can take care of... There we go. So now we can move. I've got to actually add that. So you can actually move here. Let's raise some of our glorious levies. I'll raise you and I'll raise you. So you're going to go here and help with this siege. Um, the 7k stack is going to go down here and help with this siege. I'll just get them all placed and ready. Right, let's check the Seleucids, see if they're planning anything dastardly. They're not, is what I like to see. Again... I hate it when they plan to kill me, so I'll sooner they don't. So we'll get you guys placed. Um, again, this is not going to take too long. I think they have a few forts, but not too many. You've got two, which can be a little bit of a pain. They're all level one forts. Yeah, they're all level one forts, so they're not going to really last very long, honestly. It's going to be pretty quick. Um, province loyalties are going down, especially over here. Here we have a bit of a problem. Now, Governor Corruption is a decent amount of that. But then Ilkon here has a lot of unhappy pots. And how come? I think it's because a lot of them are... The citizens are pretty peed off. Of course, I did close temples, so that's going to increase things. I have a little bit of war exhaustion, which is going to not help. Increasing the sieve value would be nice. What is our current sieve value? I'm not behind the 31%. And what are we at at the moment? 31%. Can I increase the sieve value? Buildings do increase maximum sieve value. I know light lives and stuff do. Local sieve level was 4%. Um, I probably should get a few. I mean, yeah, I probably should get a few things in here, like another live or two. Or I could get these buildings to increase the happiness. I think I'll do that, to be honest. I think it's because these pops, what are they? Um, I think the Laconian. And I think the Lyconian pops are not very happy with us. Fairly sure that they're not. Only 12%. Um, can I give you anything? Probably try and give you something. Give you a bit of protection against torture, I suppose. Invite him into marriage? Maybe? No? Well, that could be good. Increases pop assimilation speed. I lose 10 stability, but I think it could be worth it. I do gain, like, integrated core Japanese minus 6% for, like, 60 months, but... 
I could do the intermarriage. It would speed up the pop assimilation. Let's have a look in the city, how quick it goes. So let's look at you, and we'll do the pops here, and we'll view pop info. It takes forever. I could, I probably should do that once we get the Grand Temples, uh, or Grand Theatres, and then I could couple that with the um, Rite of Intermarriage, and then it would increase the assimilation even more. I could then definitely also bang on maybe even the... I mean, I don't need that anymore, though. I could probably use the kind of cultural assimilation. I mean, that could work. I'm going to try and pull in these slaves a little bit more for the moment, and then I'll change it afterwards. Even if it does revolt, I could crush it. It's not something I'm necessarily worried about. Yeah, I could easily crush it, so I'll let it. I'll let. I'll let it go. I'll, we'll deal with that in a bit. It's not really much of a problem. Oh, what about you? Still not planning on killing me. Good. Very good indeed. Now. I think I can take you guys on. You've got these buddies. Take Azoria. I have no manpower, but I'm not really bothered. I have a little bit, but not too much. But I have more, like, men than this guy, so... This guy's a little bit of a worry. Um, but again, you don't have any legions. You're not going to be able to raise that many pops if you haven't. Come on, let's face it. I highly doubt he's going to be able to, like, be able to raise massive amounts of men. So let's take him on. Let's do it. I promise you guys a war, so we're going to have one. Take Azoria. Let's do this. I don't even need to call Egypt in. It's like not even necessary. So you're going to go here. You're going to go there. Let's deal with you guys. Quickly beat you. Hopefully he'll raise his men and I'll kind of go on them. No, he hasn't. Oh, he's raised them next to us. He can't move anywhere because he's pretty much stuck. So we've got him blocked here now, which is cool. So I can actually stack wipe these guys on their own. So we can just leave them here now and start sieging this down. And I can just definitely... Oh, I can't separate piece these guys out. But I can separate piece these and then these afterwards. Oh, I can actually. I can separate piece these. I've got a common border. I didn't notice. I thought I had no common border. But it looks like I do. Anyway, let's wait. Hold out. Do what we can do. We're moving all the way around here. But you can't move anywhere because I've got, like, forts blocking you. So whatever you want to do, it's not going to happen. Status quo. That's a bit of an annoyance. That's not necessarily very cool. I would have preferred something a little bit better. But anyway, let's build something down here. I want to go for the academy... Why can't I? Oh, because it's disloyal. Okay. Is that why I could build an, an aqueduct over here? No, it isn't. This is disloyal, so I can't build anything. It's like a big problem. So we're going to have to solve that at some point. Loyalty here is okay, honestly. Honestly, here it's fine. Not really that much of a problem. Um, I do have some extra buildings available here. What's my pops like? You know what? Here I'm going to go for a, an academy. Get that up. Quite nice. It also increases the civ level. And of course, keep forgetting to mention that when you increase the civ level, you increase the happiness of your citizens, uh, nobles, but then you do decrease the happiness of your tribesmen. Tribesmen are not overly keen on civilized areas. So if you have a lot of tribals, you might want to be careful. Or if you're a tribal nation, it's definitely not worth building them. Anyway, let's check these guys out. Still fine. Everything's going good. What are Egypt doing? Are they still knocking on the door of Sparta? They are. We'll let them fight it out. That's more than fine. Negative 7, negative 14%, which is fine. This is really going to be fairly easy. It's pretty much a phony war, to be honest. Just us sitting on stuff and just taking them out. Anyway, disagreement on the highest level. A Siganos admitted, a man of sound reputation, and Nicias admitted, a noble of great virtue, who have recently started to spar furiously while attending the court. Who do I side with? I'm going to side with the guy that's disloyal, because it allows me to increase his opinion. And I think you have a little bit of a power base, but not much. But I'll side with you, and it gets rid of the disloyal guy, so why not? No reason why I can't do that. Oh, you're trying to go on that. You can't. You have to go on that. You can't go anywhere else, buddy. That fort is blocking you. Another Olympiad. Who do I send? Send the Legate, or this guy. I'll send Pantaleon. He's not great. Neither is the other guy. None of them will win, so... Not going to change anything. Yeah, it's got 5,000 men here, actually. But nothing I can't deal with. Nothing I can't deal with. Right, come on, hurry up. Let's take this down and I can actually move on to this guy. Then we can move on to this dude. I'll probably do double sieges. Oh, you're attacking me, are you, buddy? Right, let's reorganize this. So I want my chariots in the first line. I want my light, car light infantry on the second. My flank side is going to be reduced to two. And I will put them on the side. What is the battle width here? Combat width in this place is... Oh, no, crap! Oh, shit. That was my bad. I accidentally did that. 
Oh, bugger. I accidentally clicked. I wanted to click on the province building. Oh, that's awful. Um, oh, that is really, really, really bad, Dan. That is, like, awful movement. Oh, that is awful. That really is bad. Um, when do you come and get here? 15th of June. Well, I got it before he gets there. So I do have the defensive terrain. Um, I leg it. Oh, it's just bang on the day. Okay. Combat width is 20. Well, that doesn't matter because we both have under the amount. Um. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, can I add something to my legion? Like now? Could I potentially do that? Yeah, I can't because I'm not in the territory that I own. Hmm, this is not good. How am I going to do this? I might... I, I'll see how the fight goes and I might retreat accordingly. Oh, by the way, let's get the right tactic going. I don't want shock. Um, I'm guessing that this guy is going to go skirmishing. I'm, I'm going to guess he's going to go skirmishing. I'll go deception. It's a big guess. Um, so we both went deception here. Um, so basically I'll start off with less morale, which is going to be a pain. I might be able to hold it. Okay, so the siege has been won there. Can I hold the line here? I, I don't know. Now these guys are attacking me, which is a pain. Can I hold it? Come on. No, I can't hold it. I can't hold it. So I'm going to have to leg it. I'm going to have to retreat back here. It is what it is. Um, here I'm going to beat these guys though, so that's not much of a problem. So they're dead. Um, who's attacking me? Are you moving? I think he might be. I don't know how he's moving across my fort, though. Doesn't really make too much sense. Uh, but I should be fine. Even tactics. Um, Olympics conclude didn't win anything, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I've, I've lost a significant amount of manpower here. Which is a bit annoying, I have to say. But it is my bad, and I should have probably done better. Um, but oh well, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. I accidentally clicked on the Siege 4. If I didn't click on that, then I would have won the fight, and then we would have smashed him. And then it would have been all done and dusted. But anyway, you're going to reorganize quickly. Just to get a little bit of um, stuff back. Yeah, I really don't have any manpower left. Um, that's a pain. Still not planning to kill me, which is good. I do need to finish this war off ASAP. Now, I'm going to do this. You're going to go this way. You're going to march over this way. You might as well. You can easily deal with this guy. I'm hoping to get another tech level soon, which means I can get the 5,000 manpower from the invention. So I'm hoping we can get that. So you're going to stay here, reorganize a little while. I think it's the best thing to do. He might be retreating on this fort. If he does, I can get him. Or I could technically take this and then separate piece this guy. Which would be a viable option. So that gets rid of some men. So I'm going to separate piece you. So I'm going to take this. Um, which is fine. I get three guys expansion. That's quite a bit for this two little pieces of land. But we're going to take it. Um, let's pass judgment on their families. See if I can bring anybody decent in. You're crap. You're okay. You're good. You're a beast. You're coming in, mate. Zippities. Zippities is coming in, and the other will be crucified. Um, so that's these fellas in. This fort here I don't want. Costing me too much money, so off you go. So now I've got that. That knocks them out the wall. Oh, I nearly caught this dude. Nearly. So what I'm going to do, we've got more morale than you, so I'm going to go and go on this fort. I might be able to catch you. Yeah, I'm going to wait a bit. Doesn't matter. You can leg it a little while. It's fine. Now I'll go on there. We should get more morale back anyway. And this guy, I should be able to beat him. I can have another governor over here, but I don't really want to put that in just yet. I'll do that afterwards. 
Um, anyway, all to advance us. Thank God, finally, another tech level. And this is where I'm going to go for triumphal coins, because I do gain 5,000 manpower straight away. And of course, we're going to try and work our way down to gradual economic manumission for the Grand Theatre building. So I want this quickly. Boom, thank you. We've managed 5,000 manpower in one go, which is awesome. We're actually going to get some more men back. Now, what I need to do is take this as quickly as possible. Because I've got a feeling that these guys are going to be a bit of a pain. He's going to try and attack me here, I know that. But I am getting more men back with my legions, and I do have better unit types than him, so I'm not overly bothered. I should be fine. I hope so. <laughs> if, if I'm not, I've been totally wrong, but I don't think I am. What are we at now? Minus 28%, 7% here. Is this level 2 fort? No, it's level 1 fort. Got no... Yeah, I've got a little bit of a garrison. Please fall at 28%. It would be nice if it could. Tech is 76% now. It's okay still. What are you planning? Anything still? I need to keep checking. No, you're not. Okay, that siege was won. That is great stuff. That is really good news, actually. So let's move on this. So you can't attack me and we don't get caught. And now we'll just take this quickly. And then I have a little bit of manpower, which means I can increase my legion side, which I will do afterwards. I'll increase the legion size a little bit. Probably add an extra unit of each in, like, an extra unit of heavy cav, heavy infantry, and a light cav. Which is definitely something I would consider doing. And Civic Advancers and Martial Advancers, cool. We've had them all in one go, which is really good stuff. So we have extra army morale, we have extra pop capacity and food, we have extra civ level, and we have extra omen power. And I'm going to go for Defending Liberty here. We have an extra diplomatic relations slot, which is quite nice. And I lose 10 aggressive expansion, but I don't have any aggressive expansion. So I'm going to wait till the end of the war for this. I'm going to wait till the end of the war. Because I'm going to get aggressive expansion from taking these two. And then at the end of it, it is going to help just to get it down in one big one big chunk. Which is going to be quite nice because it will limit the stability loss. So we'll do it that way. 7%. This is taking literally forever. How many men you got there now? 442 still. Quite a bit. The Grand is raided. I'll pay for the cost back. It's just because it gives me more loyalty with the governor and of course the whole province. I might as well do it. No reason why I can't. You guys still nothing... Good, 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 good. Armenia still like me. What about you? You still got any disloyal guys yet? No. Are you dying yet? No, you're not. Which is a shame. I would like you to die. It would help us quite a lot. The more unstable he is, the better. And the beating of hooves. Yes, the Dahe of here the finally arrived. This could be our saviors. These could be our saviors. Um, so, basically what happens is we've got... Um, Arnia has a client state now called Xanthia, which is over here. So these guys have this, and it's basically the horse riders. It's like basically like the Mongol, the equivalent of the Mongol hordes, if you wish. And they are so freaking powerful. It is insane. And however, I have no food, so you're going to be retreating back here, to be honest, because you basically have none left. And it's just going to cost me way too much. So I don't want to lose any manpower, so we'll move you back. Um, neither do you, so I'm going to bring you guys back as well. And I'll just reinforce if I need to, because if I leave them on there, they're going to lose so much freaking food. Um, anyway, petition. The wealthier residents of Wasada have sent a form petition on behalf of the entire province complaining of the harsh ways of their governor. Apparently he's being a harsh man. Um, Nonsense doing a fine job. Where's Azoria? Azoria province. Where are you, buddy? Oh, it's this new one here. Um, I can send a representative. Which I will do. He's so freaking corrupt. I need to get rid of this guy. I'm going to remove him. Yeah, I'm removing that miser. He, he's awful. He literally so corrupt that it's affecting the whole region's kind of like loyalty. So I need a new guy, and I'm going to place a new guy in the province of Phrygia here. This one's Phrygia. There we go. Governorship Phrygia. So it's this one. We're going to place some guy who is not corrupt, preferably. Um... You're actually really good. But you're not loyal. Um, you're pretty decent, though. You do have local slave happiness. I'm going to put you. What do you have? You've got commerce. Freeman happiness and citizen happiness. But you're just so corrupt, it's insane. Yeah, I'll put in this guy. You'll do nicely. Hopefully this will like kind of stabilise the disloyalty thing down here. Yes, it has. Okay, so we've actually solved the problem. He's put harsh treatment on as well, which is good. So it's rising now. So that's fantastic. 
That's going to solve that small minor issue. Um, let's go and deal with you now. I'll go down. I don't even want to lose that fight. You've got a little bit of food back, so we'll come here with you. We're just going to go smash him. Food's just smashed. I have the province, so I can have the food of this area. Let's just go down here quickly. When you arrive at the same time. Literally at the same time. Yeah, we caught him. Split, which is good, so you're dead. You shouldn't have split, mate. So this is the end for you, buddy. I hope you realise that now you're dead. Um, now we're going to go and deal with this guy. I'll just occupy his province capital, and then I can peace out. And then, of course, we can literally do what we want. Okay, so you're finished. Goody o Jolly good, jolly good. All right, let's quickly occupy it so I can peace out. And then I want to build up my legion before I lose any more manpower, because we are losing quite a bit. Thank you. That is done. Time to peace out. So, I want this. I want this. I also want this. And this. And this. So we get nine aggressive expansion, but I don't care. It just gives us some more land, and I think that is cool. So we'll take that. Bizarre! So we have some elites now to take care of. Um, the Ambladian elite, who are these guys? Who are these, the Ambladians? They were over here, weren't they? The Lus so these guys are just going to banish. These guys are past judgment on their families, and I'll see if I can bring anyone in who are decent. You're pretty good, so I'll bring in Gaiji's Sabacid. And the rest I'll just crucify. So now we've got them in, I can literally get rid of my levies, like now, which would be good. Um, no, not the legion, sorry, the levies. So let's get rid of you, get a little... What, 4.81 uh, military experience, that's quite good. Get rid of you, get another 0.72, which is fine. You guys are then going to march all the way back over here. And now I need to deal with the excess forts, because I have a lot of them, and I don't need them all. So, literally, this one can go. It's just too expensive to maintain. This one here can also go, because it's just too expensive to maintain. I don't really need it. I have this fort there. This one can go as well. This is a settlement. This is a settlement. Do I have any cities in this area? Yeah, I have this. Oh, I don't have a city in this area. So this is like basically just settlements. So I am going to need this for that. Here I've got a city. Here is there any more? Some over here, but that's when I conquer this. So. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't need that. This one I'll keep because it's bang on in the middle, I think. Yeah, I'll keep that because it's just pretty much bang on in the middle here. Um... I'm going to still make 5.9 gold. I could always get rid of it after, and honestly, if I keep it... I don't really know if I'm going to keep it, to be honest. It's it needed. It's a good question. Uh, but anyway, now we've done that, the good thing is we can take Defending Liberty, which means we are going to get an extra Diplo Relationship slot, but our Aggressive Expansion Impact is going to go down quite nicely. Um, well, not Impact, sorry, but Aggressive Expansion straight... And Impact is going to go down by 10%, but are going to lose 10 straight away here, so we'll take away Defending Liberty. Boom, that's gone away. Fantastic. And then I want... I want an extra Diplo slot. I think I do. You know, I think I do. Ooh, maximum research efficiency plus 25%. Ooh, I like that. This is what I want first. So we're going to go local embassies. It gives us another slot. So I only need one more for the Grand Temples. So, you. You still don't like me. But I don't care. What about Thrace, my boy? Ooh, Thrace do. Thrace do. Macadon, Macadon do. So we could probably gang up on the Salute Kid, to be honest. He's definitely doable. Let's have a look at the Armenian legions. How many do you have, Armenia? What? Do, how many troops do you have? Ooh, Armenia have a fair few. Milaki, Milaki. So I might go for an alliance with Armenia. At least it counts as a Salute Kid if they ever attack, or if I can attack them with Armenia and the others. And yeah, that would be pretty damn decent. Who else do you friends with, buddy? Nobody. Um, it is a little bit risky, though, because the Seleucids do have 58 cohorts. That is, um, I think that's like permanent cohorts. Is it permanent cohorts? Let's have it where I am. Uh, where's Cappadocia? Where are we? Where is Cappadocia? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. We're way down on the friggin' list.
Yeah, this is like permanent legions. So, that's, uh, that might be not counting their levies, unless they've raised them in a war and it counts that way. I think it might actually be that. I could potentially be that. I'm not entirely sure. It is a good question. But anyway, let's put a governor over here in this place. What do I want? Um, who do I want? Uh, you're, cor you're not corrupt. You're pretty decent, actually. But well, you're not very loyal because your home country's in ruins. Um, you're corrupt, so that's not going to work. You, though, do have local citizen output. And what are you? You are Cybunny. What do you have? Ooh, you have local citizen output. But well, you're corrupt. I don't like that. You've got state religion happiness, which is zealous. Could work for me. Yeah, it could. You increase state religion happiness down there, bud. That's cool. I'll happily take that. So now we've got you in place. I think I will end the episode here, people. Thank you so much for joining me. In the next one, I really don't know what I'll do next. I'll probably take on these guys. Yeah, I'll take on these dudes. Might as well. Because I can easily destroy them. And then it would give me access to, 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 to this city here. Or this province here. We have a nice juicy city. Um, I don't know what pop types they are though. What are they? Culture wise. Uh, L L Lassian. But I can definitely take them on. And then we have all this here which will be quite nice. And I can actually block this off. So that fort there blocks that off. And then this fort here maybe... Um, yeah, maybe leave that one there to be honest. That means I can then delete this one. Yeah, we'll work. We'll do that. That seems to be a good plan. And then I'll probably try and turn my attention to the north up here, I think, would be a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, but anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed things, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see some more Imperial Rome content, then please consider subscribing to the channel for more. With that said and done, thank you so much for being here, and I hope to catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.